Hello, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thank dog, it's Friday. Yay. Happy TIF, everyone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so great. We're super happy to be with you. This is the best part of our entire week. Um, of course, it's all themed in the love of our our dogs. And um, if you don't know who we are, I'm Patty Quinn, and I am here with the amazing and wonderful Hillary Buholtz. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and we are the co-founders of We Heart Hounds. We come here every Friday, wherever you're watching, uh, and do crafts and recipes and all kinds of things, as I said, in, in, love, in our love of pups. And today is, oh my gosh, like just the, I can't tell you, like we try to make them easier and easier every time. Yeah. I think this is Probably, I mean, you could probably put this together in about five minutes. Yeah. Um, so it's a fun craft, um, but it, I think your dogs will exponentially love <laughs> the, <laughs> the result. Um, I've got Ginger here today. She is already chomping at the bit to kind of help mom put this together. Um, we are calling this a boredom buster dog box, a busy dog box. So um, if you're not familiar with a busy box, um, it's basically a concentration of uh, canine goodies all in one little area. Um, and then you're throwing in kind of brain activities, brain games and all kinds of puzzles and fun things. And you're, they're all time favorite toys and balls and, yeah. um, you know, and the more, sorry, Ginger wants to get under her blankie, the more, um, um, enriching you can make it. So like crinkle toys and stuffy toys and rubber toys and, you know, anything you can just throwing that into like this small little area and then letting your pups just dive in and kind of explore all the goodies and stimulate yeah. their brain and help them focus and concentrate. Um, well, one you, of the you things can... that I like about it too is because yeah. we all have huge toy boxes or mm -hmm. a lot of us have huge uh, yeah. toy boxes <laughs> that you, you kind of acquire over time. And by you're sort of just curating just mm -hmm. a few of the toys, like just some of the toys so that they're getting an opportunity. Like some of those toys that are, have been at the bottom of the bin, you can bring yep. them out and it's like, it's brand new again for them. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a nice way to kind of just cycle through some of those toys and give them uh, a little curated area for them to play with and then, right. you know, do something new each time. So, right. Yeah. Really and you fun. can always change it up and, yeah. and mix it, which is really kind of fun. So today we, so we, we came across this idea, uh, from a couple of places and just fell in love with it. And we wanted to see how, how many supplies we could get from Dollar Tree to yeah. kind of put this to our, our busy box together. Um, and so I was looking for a basket. That's the basket I was looking for. My Dollar Tree didn't have that because Ginger's so tiny and yeah. I think that would be easier for her to get into. So I ended up grabbing, they call it a dish pan, uh, but I think this will work. Um, you basically just want a small, shallow, um, container, uh, depending on the size of your dog. If you have a great Dane, you can get a little bigger. Get something bigger. <laughs> you get a laundry basket if you want it. <laughs> uh, but basically that's, that's what everything's going to go into. And we're going to make some interactive puzzles, some puzzle toys that are going to go in there as well. And we're going to start with, um, the JW Holy Roller Ball. Uh, this is a really, it's a plastic, this is that rubber, uh, ball with a bunch of holes in it and it's a toy on its own. You don't have to yeah. do anything to it uh, But we wanted to make it really fun and interactive and ginger as you can see is, <laughs> is Excited to learn. How do we do that mom? So I'm gonna set that next to you And so I ran and got um, at our local Dollar Tree. They had the cutest little socks um, And I got these are there were some with watermelon some with strawberries some with lemons and lemonade um, Just really adorable sweet as a peach um, yeah, so ex mine had exactly. a little kids pack that had yeah. three, three in it. So that was perfect for like this little small size ball that worked oh, well. Great. So, yeah. yeah. And I've got a medium size one. Um, I wanted to make it easy, uh, mm -hmm. easier for Ginger to pull it out. Although I've actually, we'll talk about how to make this, the the puzzle easier and, and, yeah. and more challenging as well. So basically what you want to do is get and your socks. Just a yeah. little before we jump in. And yeah. if you're, if your dog is already a sock thief or this, you don't want them stealing socks or you don't want them playing with socks or, or thinking socks or toys, you can absolutely substitute this for like a piece of fleece or yeah. some other type of material. So you don't have to use socks, but 
if you can use the socks, like there, you can get that little bundle at Dollar Tree and it works great. Yeah. So yeah, no, that's a great point. Um, and they're just fun and colorful and it makes yeah. it easy. You don't have to cut any fleece out or anything like that. But yeah, yeah. obviously all of these uh, ideas, you can totally customize with whatever you have on hand um, and whatever works well for, for your pup. Yeah. So then basically we're just going to grab some treats here uh, and you're going to tuck a couple, not inside, inside your socks, but uh, on top, basically. I'm just putting a couple in there and then just rolling up your socks. And I'll do another one here and just rolling them up. And then you're gonna tuck them into the hole. Now, this is what I was re referencing a little bit ago. So if you want the puzzle to be more challenging, tuck the sock all the way in. Um, if you wanna give uh, your pups a little chance, it'll make it a little easier. You can have these just sticking out yeah. um, all the way around and, and that's fine too. And I probably will do that with Ginger. Um, and you can certainly do that. Uh, this is probably a puzzle that you wanna walk through your dog to t yeah. teach them how to solve it. So you want you might wanna tuck a tree just right on the end there and kind of encourage them to, to pull. Uh, and then, you know, obviously when they open up the sock, they get all the goodness inside. Right. And I would recommend, uh, obviously, a hard, dry treat, something mm, that, mm -hmm. that isn't going to get real messy, you know, right. as you're tucking things in. And I'm actually right. just taking, I'm taking kind of the open end of the sock and just popping it in to make it pretty easy. So mm -hmm. it's, it's right at the top. And then I just sort of loop that back down into another hole. So none of them are very challenging if, if Lulu just kind of pulls on any of these ends, it'll pretty much give her some immediate gratification. She's pretty yeah. timid about toys to start. So to start, um, I would recommend if your dog is like that, if they can be kind of timid, make it easy at first. And then you mm -hmm. can increase the complexity as time goes on once they right. get kind of used to it. Right. So. Exactly. Exactly. There's yeah. a little... So yeah, so I'm pulling some of mine back out to make it a little easier for her. But again, I mean, the beagles we used to have would go nuts and would act absolutely love pulling out the socks yep. that were already inside because they are, you know, not as shy as Ginger and Lulu and all that kind of stuff. But um, like I said, to start with, all of these puzzles are going to be new to your dog. You might want to show them a little bit, yeah. you know, kind of encourage them to kind of interact with it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh and play so there's that's the first puzzle and that'll go in into your bin and then the next puzzle uh that we did so i found these tiki cups uh that are with a straw on them at dollar tree uh they're not available at every place just yet i think it's their summer collection uh, but if you find one of these or something with a lid um mm -hmm. It, anyway, it doesn't even have to have a lid, actually. Just a container, basically, is what you're looking for. And I just have a plastic cup here that's fun and colorful. And again, this is sort of the easy version of mm -hmm. this, next, uh, this next one. So Patty's will yeah. be a little bit more challenging because my ginger is to work big. Yeah, to get them out. Isn't as this big and it's got a little easy. lip. Yeah. So basically what we did is we got some, uh, so we got these at, at Do Dollar Tree and we got some washcloths at Dollar Tree and I left mine folded, but you can, I think Hillary's got yours, you've got yours all the way open. So yep. whatever way you want to do this, but we're going to basically do the same kind of thing. So you can see I've got some treats kind of tucked in throughout and then I just roll mine up and you can put as many or as few treats, um, I've got teeny, teeny, tiny treats. And then you just tuck, I mean, how simple is that? You just tuck it into uh, your container. So I'm, mm. I'm gonna make my first one really easy where I just took the treats back out again and I'm just gonna pop them right at the top. And that'll make it, again, just trying to get her to use that yeah. nose, get in there and start. Uh, yeah, investigating. So. And then I just heard one of my trees just fall to the bottom. <laughs> so it'll become a rattle. And then obviously when she pulls the uh, um, 
washcloth out, then she'll have to try and get the treats inside, which is also kind of fun. Yeah. So, so there's another super easy, right? These are super easy puzzles. Um, you know, if you have a plastic cup and washcloths at home, you don't even have to get this stuff at Dollar Tree. And then uh, the last puzzle that we've got is just getting a container with a lid. Um, this one has a straw. Um, again, these are from Dollar Tree. I love the one that Hillary got. I think it might, for ginger, I think it would be better. Um, for heavier chewers, I think this container would be yeah. would be better because it's a harder, firmer plastic. And this one, um, it doesn't screw, this top doesn't screw on. You just, it can kind of pop up. So if you have a harder chewer or one, like Lulu is, again, that really gentle. So she just kind of rolls it around the ground. But if mm -hmm. you have a pup that's going to bite at it, it'll pop right open. All the yeah. treats will come out, so that'll <laughs> make it pretty darn easy. So um, yeah, just know, just knowing your pup and, and what's going to work best for them. But if yeah. you, if you have kind of a smaller pup or softer, gentler player, this one is great. Um, I, so. I did make the hole a little bit bigger and, and I, I was able to use an X-Acto blade to make that a little bit bigger. And you can also, if you think that uh, your dog might chew the flower or whatever, those can be taken off. So yeah, yeah you can customize it as you need to. Right. So this one, uh, basically you're just putting treats inside and letting them all come out of the hole. I had to use a drill to make uh, the hole bigger on this one. It's really tough plastic. Uh, again, heavy chewers might be good for this one because the lid screws on and it's not coming off. Um, it's a little more challenging with the hole in the center. So mm -hmm. when, the when the treats pile up along the side, they don't necessarily fall out. So again, your dog will need to learn how to toss this one around to get the treats to come out. And I actually made, I have teeny tiny treats and I made them even super small um, to hopefully get a few more of them to come out of the, the hole uh, in this one. <laughs> uh, as you can see, Ginger is all about what's going on here. Yeah. Um, and I just have these little, so the, the thing I would recommend, especially for this one in particular, because you want a fair amount of them in there mm -hmm, so that they're mm -hmm. rolling around, they're pretty easy to come out. So yeah. something that's really um, low calorie and, and small. So these mm -hmm. little pups, they're a calorie each. So you can feel pretty good about having a fair yeah. amount of them popped in there. And I love these um, bocce bakery. I mean, these oh, are yep. just, they're teeny, teeny, tiny. They're training treats. Uh, and the perfect size for ginger. So, and like I said, I even took those and split them in half uh, yeah. and put them in here just uh, so there'd be more treats, more rewards coming out of this as she plays with it. Um, so those are the puzzles. Um, and then you just take your, your bin or your basket and you just plop everything in. Um, you get some of your pup's favorite toys. I've got kind of a, a crinkly one and we've got squeaker toys and ginger loves her little tennis balls. Yep. yep. And I found this one at Dollar Tree, which I thought was cute. The whole thing is a squeaker. Oh, cool. <laughs> so I thought that was really sweet. So yeah, different texture. It's a tug toy, um, all of that kind of stuff. And you throw that all together and then you can sprinkle in some extra treats on top and then just let your pup have at it and, yep. and just let them have fun here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> anyway, they will have a blast going in there, pulling stuff out, playing with it, learning how to un uh, solve all the puzzles, um, find all the extra treats, all the good stuff. Um, it's a great way to stimulate your dog's brain, especially on days when you can't get outside if it's too hot, yeah. too cold, too stormy outside. Um, these are perfect. Or if you just need a few minutes to yourself <laughs> and you want to get keep your dog busy, I do recommend, um, as with all dog toys, keep an eye on your pup. Don't really walk away when they're playing with these because you just don't know, you know, they might chew something or swallow something that they shouldn't. Um, so it's always good to, to monitor yeah. uh, their activity, the activity. But what a fun thing. And yeah. as Hillary mentioned, you can pull out toys out of this and swap them with new ones, um, all that good stuff. Just really kind of change it up. You could throw a Kong in here, stuff some peanut butter and apple slices and plop that in. Um, you can mix it up with whatever whatever puzzles or games or activities that you think your dog would like. And it's just so much fun, a really yeah. easy project um, that your pup will just love you for. <laughs>
Yeah, and if you guys are looking for more ideas, more kind of fun brain games, all kinds of crafts, any sort of recipes, we have a huge long playlist that is uh, available. So you can check those out. And if you know anybody that you think would enjoy this or you have some ideas, please share. Um, we, it really does help us out a ton if you do that. So yeah, it does. thank you, thank everybody. You. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.